Motherfucker. Jesus Christ. You're probably wondering why I'm waking up so early on a Saturday morning. You're probably thinking, oh, Keegan, were you getting lucky last night and you had to kick a girl out of your bed? No. The real reason is the fights are on super early because they're in Dubai. And because Khabib is from Russia, they want all the Russian guys to watch it during prime time. So the main card starts at noon, East, or, uh, noon uh, mountain time here in Alberta and Calgary. Normally I get up every day around noon. Now, I know what you fucking bananas are thinking. What are you doing? You're just a lazy guy, you just gamble all day and sleep till noon? No, I have a job. I work till three in the morning, so I don't go to bed till about four. So it's a bit of an early one for me, guys. But uh, time to get up and watch these fights and sweat these bets. Now, guys, the real question is, which jersey do I wear today? Because we all know the only BTO move is to make sure you wear the right jersey for the right luck. So considering the fact that the Eagles won Thursday and... I still got a parlay on the Eagles. I think we got to go with the old school. Motherfucker. We got to go with the old school. Terrell Owens, number 81. Hopefully brave me luck for these bets because that's the only BTO move. We got dad bod versus fucking plastic surgery over here in Korea. So hopefully a fucking guy can win. Muscles are everything in a fight. Until you get tired. That's why you're you supposed to lactic get acid builds up. No, but if you don't, if you don't lift muscles. weights for two weeks, if you don't lift weights for two weeks and you do a, like a really good water log, then you don't have to worry about lactic acid. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just you getting tired, buddy. <laughs> Big part. I have two out of three of those guys in the parlay. Like, you still there? Outside I had two out of three of those guys in the parlay. Buddy, guys, dad bought me to get knocked out first round. Watch. I hope not. Like, I understand Whoa. what you gamble for, but... Oh, I'll gamble Take for her. That, Ariane. Come on. Uh-oh. See, dad bought not looking good right now. He's like... Look at this. Dad bought looking like shit. Uh, he should be an 85 or man. Why do you say he did plastic surgery? I'm just making a joke that Koreans are known for the most plastic surgery in the world. Oh, yeah. He's a man. Oh, 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 here we go. PFL. Did, did you see that? Yeah, yeah, I know. He's hurt. Yeah, just a little, little, little cross little to the cross, body. Yeah. A little cross to the body. Come on. Awesome. Fuck those calf kicks. Kick him in the fucking head. <laughs> Kick him in the head. He did. What? This is October. This Halloween. Hey, come on. Whoa. Sorry, what? He said this Halloween is going to be the best piece of whatever. Why, why, why are you talking about the depression, buddy? We've watched the fight. Because it's Anderson Silva's last fight. Oh, yeah, against fucking. Fuck. Fucking. Respect. That's okay. It'll be a celebration of his life. Seriously, how about a fucking good time you had, though? Uh, well, no, actually, like, well, well, like I found out who he was after he beat Stephen Bonner, and this was like as soon as I got into like. You, know, I, you came late into the game, bro. I did come late, and then I'm like, who's this black guy standing up against the cage? My buddy's like, that's Anderson Silva. So then I started to follow him, and then after that, he fought white. Oh, 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 he, oh, oh, oh! Fuck, stop, Erdian! Did he just hurt him? Like, what's going on here? Oh, oh, it's not good. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's fucked up, buddy. He just march forward. He just the body. Just... There you go. Jab but he would... the body. Jab upstairs. Up down. Up down. Keep him guessing. Why? Why? Why are you telling the guy who I bet for against how to do? Because I like because that. his back is up against the cage, and that's the last place you want to be. No, it, that's it's exactly where I pick losers. Well, why don't you fucking get in there and fucking? <laughs> I have fucking forty times. No, but it... yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Stop doing that! Look, this uh, he's Korean smiling at him. Oh, I don't get it. Oh, no, but that means you're hurt. Oh, he's trying to disguise it. exactly what it means. Yes! No, there you go! Oh, make it dirty! No, what are you doing? Make it dirty! Yes. I'm gonna love it. This is not good. Yeah, he tried uppercut. That's Gaethje's style. Uppercuts from the collar. They both got red hair, so that's usually the game plan. Oh! oh. Man, Sam, Alvi got a bit of a dome on him, man. That was a time he walks in. And I know, I don't like this. They all, they oh. hit all body. Yeah, he see? Like he just went to the body. It. Look, he's like, yeah. I'm the one that told you to start going to the fucking body. Buddy, you said that to Sam Alvi, not to the Korean. But see, the dad body can't take the body shots. Yeah, I know, because he stinks. Quite possibly. I love Sam. I know. He's a good fighter. I like the way he fights. I don't like But he's backing up the whole time, buddy. He's losing the fight 10 When he engages, he's a brawler. He's, he's a brawler, yeah. Fuck. He's, he's like like forward swinging. But then you got this fucking Korean who's running the fucking show because he's a fucking. Oh my he's married God, to a chocolate. Here, leg leg why are they showing leg kicks? Like, did, I've seen two. Oh! 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 Right down the middle. That's what you need. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. They're both bitches. 
they're fucking fighting at light heavyweight when they should both be fighting at 170. Okay, my Sam's at light heavyweight here? That's what I'm saying. He's way too big, man. Or way too small. Five Hulk grade 85. I thought this was middleweight fight. not looking very easy. He's looking kind of tired right now. Oh! What the hell is going on here? Shit. Oh, come on. Finish him. See, I'm getting worried here, guys. The problem is when you guys bet a parlay and the first fight is a little close. You know, then you, you lose all your juice for the next three right, fights, yeah. But the Korean guy just dropped him right now. Dong Yu, Dong Yu, Tong Yu. Anyways, hopefully get the finish here, because this is a very close fight, but I'm a little worried right now. Just a little bit. But the dad bod is slowing down, so I'm getting kind of happy. Right, Will? Boo for dad bod. These guys want dad bod to win, because they just want me to lose, but... I like Sam Alvey. Fair enough. Sam Alvey's really hurting right now, guys. Come on. Oh, come on. Edwards and comes up. Oh, oh, come on. That's going to be a test. Now, this is getting close here, guys. This game, yeah, fight's getting... Anywhere. Oh, oh shit, right Sam Alvey. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? Sam's at the that last round when definitely went to the Korean. Yes. Finish him, Korean. Come on, Jung. Oh. Hurt. 10 yeah. seconds. Come on. All right, so this is stressful. Last round definitely for uh, Jung. Yeah. Sure. The first two. Who the fuck knows? Exactly. So I'm hoping we can sneak one, two, one of these rounds to the two. And the bet's still going good. But. I like Sam hit bar, but you're right. He was backing up the whole time. Yeah, dude. so very close. So I, I hopefully, I don't think Dad bought one, but I'm biased right now, so it's be hard to say. I hope you won the two rounds. Hey, Uncle, yeah, I hope not, because I have a parlay on this for five units, for, for, to get five units here, so. <laughs> I like that about Look at that. Boom, gets the tap. All right, one down, two to go, guys. So guys, I got a push there. Very lucky on the uh, dad bod fight. Dad bod came out to fight, unfortunately. So uh, we didn't lose, but so I'm gonna probably be down. Not down any units, but I can only win probably ha half a unit off that fight, off that parlay. So I still got three more to go. So they never make it easy for you, do they guys? Eh? It's always hard. So we still got three more legs of that parlay. So uh, hopefully it does well. The next one, we got Borat up next. So hopefully Borat can do it for Kazakhstan. So anyways, guys, update here. Oh! Borat's fucking this guy up. Oh, man. Anyways, guys, as I'm watching Borat two-piece this guy up, um, I'm actually very happy when I got this pick. I got it at the right time. Uh, Cowboy Oliveira missed weight by a couple pounds, so his line dropped all the way down to minus 135. I got it plus 110 for uh, Borat. So uh, if you don't, wanna, don't know my picks for this fight, the link in my first video will be in the corner. So right now, right now, Borat doing pretty well against Oliveira. That weight cut uh, looks like it's hurting him. All right, guys, just fin finished watching uh, a couple of the prelims fights at the house. Uh, right now, the parlay's still going good. Uh, like I said, if you want to know my bets, I'll send the link somewhere in this thing for my first of all the bets on the UFC card. Right now, we are uh, we had a push, so the parlay's still alive, and then Borat, woo, big guillotine choke, so we're still good to go, guys. Me and some homies at Side Street Pop, hopefully I don't lose my mind too much in there around public people, so next time you see me, I'll be at Side Street. All right, guys, just getting to the pub here. Gotta hurry up. I got a second part of that parlay before the main card starts. We got Magnum off. So, he wins that. The parlay's still alive. Just got to worry about the other Russian, too. So, betting on two Russians. How can you go wrong, right? But, yeah, here I meet up with the homies. So, talk to you guys soon. That's nice. Three out of four. Here we go. There we are, guys. Three out of four. Got one more to go. We're at the pub okay. here. So, first round looking good. Hopefully. Hopefully the second comes. Let's get some highlights here. Boom. Just picks them apart. Let's just get the knockout here next round. Be good. So first round looking good. Boom, boom, boom. Guy got to go to the body and finish that. And there it is. Boom. First bet over for the day. So I'm up in units. You got to see what it is with that miss, that miss push on the parlay. But uh, looking good so far. Broken off if you want. So I'll, I'll give you the numbers later up in the corner. But I'm up a certain number of units already, which is good. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, it's over. Well, two rounds in this fight. Bobby Knuckles is hitting with a one-two all day. But uh, he's taking a lot of leg kick damage. A bit of a problem. So, but I still think he's up 2 nothing. I hope he can hold on and I, and I win this bet. Oh, nice. So guys, here we are. Just finished uh, watching those fights at the bar. There, did uh, did a pretty good job. Um, you know, it was up two and a half units. My main event pick was a bit of a dud, but like I said, we still won that parlay with the uh, 
with what happened with that one draw, so we got three and a half units there, and then we got a full unit on Winokur, and then we lost two units on uh, on the main event, which was unfortunate, but uh, that's the chance you took there, you know. Uh, Gaethje's Jiu-Jitsu is definitely not optimal there, so that was unfortunate. I thought maybe with those leg kicks, we'd be breaking them down, but congrats, Khabib. He's the champ, right? So that's all you can do. Yeah, so right now we're just going to get into a, uh, here at Cowboys, here in Calgary, a little one-two, no limit uh, game. Should be good, man. Maybe get some drunk people after the fight. Should be a good one. So I got here, guys. You came back from the Cowboys session watching the fights. Uh, quick fight breakdown. Uh, I won my parlay with a push, so it wasn't quite five-unit win. It was a three-and-a-half-unit win. Robert Whitaker won, so that's another win. So I was up four-and-a-half going to the main event. Unfortunately, both of the uh, main event bets dead out, so uh, I was up only half a unit. With that being said, though, uh, like I said, that little side piece action with the, uh, not side piece, a little bit action I had with the uh, Dodgers. The game got tied up 6-all going into the uh, top of the eighth in Corey Sager, Mr. Clutch, fourth hit of the day. Got a little flare single, boom, first Dodger, or third Dodger in history to hit four hits in a World Series. So very happy. They're taking the lead right now, going to the bottom of the end. So six outs away from uh, hopefully taking a 3-1 lead. Two hands I got to break down for you is uh, one was a bit of a, you know, a bit of a cooler. Second one was, uh, was a nice big hero call I'll tell you about. Uh, early, under the gun rages, pocket tens, uh, under gun plus two. He calls, flat calls a 10. I have... Ace of clubs, queen of clubs, in middle position. Remember, we're playing eight-handed with plexiglass because of the pandemic. I think this is a beautiful hand to three-bet. Lots of playability, lots of blockers. So three-bet it up with the two guys into $45. Fold back to the uh, under-the-gun player. He calls. Flop. Or sorry, also, uh, also then plus one calls. Flop comes. Pretty good one. Ten of clubs, king of hearts, seven of clubs. Checks to me. So with my nut flush draw and uh, better ball to the straight, I continuation bet to a pot that is, uh, I just, just do about a half pot bet, uh, $65. So $65 in the pot. Under the gun player raises it up. That's unfortunate. It's $150. So 90 more dollars for me to call. All the uh, money I've already put into the pot, stack sizes and everything. Uh, I just decide to flat call with, like I said, nut flush draw and uh, gutter to the nut trade as well. Flop comes, four of clubs. Boom, bingo, bango, bongo, I got the nuts. The guy who re-raised me, boom, puts me all in for my last $150. It's an easy call, no problem, all day. Boom, with the nuts, boom, throw it in. And unfortunately, board pairs. Sorry, did I say four of clubs, I meant five of clubs, I can't remember. But anyways, five of clubs, I have five of hearts on the river for a pair board. I told him before the river came, I had the nuts. He, unfortunately, had pocket tens and boats up and stacks me. So all the hand kind of played itself. Could have probably got all in all right on the flop. The ring could put the guy on, you know. He could have had a smaller flush draw. He's a very decent player. Good player, you know. I know how to play draws. He could have many things. He could have some combo draws himself. Obviously, didn't have the combo draw with uh, combo draw with a queen of clubs because I blocked that. So I don't think I could play the hand any different. It's just a typical cooler. And, unfortunately, I get stacked for my all my chips. $300. But 300 and something dollars I had. It was uh, very unfortunate. So I wanted to cry, but I didn't. But good hand to him. And hopefully I get him later. All right, guys, next hand breakdown. This is uh, maybe a very, 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 very liberal call I made. But hey, I made some, uh, I won't tell you what happened, but it was, uh, it was a hero call that I made that made me feel good about how I played today. So loose dresser player in, I think, either under the gun plus one raises it up. Me in the cutoff, especially with this guy wide range in position, A6 suited. I flat call. He opened it for ten dollars. I call his ten button calls. Flop comes. Nine of something, five of something. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. So nine of something, and then two fives. He checks. I check. Button checks. Turn comes another nine. Very loose aggressive player. Throws in a bet of fifteen dollars. And this time I put his range on almost anything because he plays a lot of stuff. He likes to gamble. Bit of a rig pig might have some money. But anyways, I call. Flop comes a seven, which no flush draw on board. I block some of the straight draws because I do have a six in my hand. And he decides to bet 25 into about a pot of, I think, about $50 or something. I'll do the math later. Figure it out. 10, 10, 15. Yeah, so he yeah, put in, yeah, he's just nine and a half size bet. I'm thinking I'm chopping with all aces now with a double paired on the board. I block the straight. So with ace high, loose aggressive player. We make the hero call, and he shows up with Queen Jack off suit for the miss of everything. And I would actually head the whole way. So you got to make sure sometimes you got to stand your ground with these guys. They are just throwing these little bets to try to bully you around. And fortunately, I called right. If I did not call right and he had an overpair or something, I would 
definitely feel like an idiot and not show my cards. But fortunately, I got it correct. And I thought I was dropping, to be honest with you. Fortunately, I won the pot and made the biggest hero call in my life, maybe. So, or my donk. I don't know. We'll figure it out for sure. But now, Dodgers action is going. So next time you see me, it'll be in the morning with my uh, football bets. Fuck. As I just say that, the freaking Tampa Bay Devil just hit a two-out single. They have put two runners on now. Damn it. Dodgers are still up. But we're good, though. Anyways, see you guys in the morning.